Oh, weddings and this 4th of July weekend. Also, fireworks and fast cars here in the States at the Daytona Coke Zero 400 fighting for the first place across the finish line. 20-year-old Joey Logano and 35-year-old Jason Leffler. Logano scored a huge win already this weekend, last night finishing first at last night's Nationwide Series race at Daytona, right behind Leffler, who came in second. Well, recently, I spoke face-to-face -face with Leffler and Logano. And before we talked, Leffler took me around the Charlotte Motor Speedway to give me a feel for what it's like. Yeah, that was an incredible ride there at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Well, after the speed, we actually put on the brakes at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And there, Jason Leffler and Joey Logano told me face-to-face, -face, getting to this level is hard, but staying there, even tougher. It's easy, though. Really? It never crossed my mind anything else. I'm sure Jason was the same way. I, I think a race car driver is probably a different type of athlete than than a basketball player or football player. This is this is a different type of sport, you know, that that you know, you're driving a race car. It's a lot different. You know, you're not on your feet. You know, it's it's a mental sport. Um, you know, it's probably more mental than it is physical in my eyes. But uh, you you got to know what you're doing and. Um, I just think it takes that time commitment, it takes that will to really want to do it. It's harder to be here than it is to get here, in my eyes. So to stay. To stay and to beat the best race car drivers in the world is harder than anything. And why is that? What have you figured out about it? Or at what point did you make that realization even? I, I think when I started cup racing. You know, in my career, everything's come pretty easy. I'd win a lot of races and it's just, bam, you know, win a race here, win a race there. And as soon as I started in that series, because I wasn't racing against the best race car drivers in the world. Now that I am, now I'm racing against all those kids that were growing up, winning every single thing they did. But well, now we're all together, and now we're all racing against each other. <laughs> and, and that's when you got to find that little bit more, and it's hard to find it. You don't know where it's at. I mean, I, I first started in, in the Cup Series, and I, I struggled hard. Joey Logano. Big crash. And was like, holy smokes, what did I get myself into? What am I doing? And, and, and didn't realize that. I mean, I was expecting to go in there and win races just like I did everywhere else. You know, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. And, I, and then it, it, you come to realize it's a reality check. Jason, did you have that crossroad too? Was there that moment where you said, okay, I envision it being it this way, but here's the reality and I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Sure, it's been that way for the last 10 years. Um, <laughs> once you get to the NASCAR, once you get to one of the top tier, series in NASCAR. It's very, very competitive. But Joey is right. I mean, the Cups, the Sprint Cup Series is so competitive. You're the best of the best. Nationwide Series is competitive and Truck Series is also. But when you take that step to the elite, um, there's not a bad driver that races on Sunday in the Sprint Cup Series. And, and, you're, and the thing about it is when your car is slow or if you're off the pace, you're not talking about a second. You're talking about a half a tenth or a tenth of a second can be the difference between 40th and, and tenth or tenth in the lead. So it's just minute, little tiny things, and everything's got to work so well together. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, when you get to this level, it humbles you. What makes one faster? Is it the vehicle? Is it the driving technique? Is it the mechanics are working? What is that formula? All that. Team. Yeah. Team. All, of it. All of it. You know, I mean, you can put a great race car driver in a, in a not very good car, and you're not going to see it go very fast. And you can put a, a, great, or a, a great car and put a, a driver that's so-so, and it's not going to go very fast. Mm -hmm. You know, it, those guys that are out there winning have a combination of both. That, that really, really works good together. Jason, do you think people, fans, have a really good grasp that this is a team sport? Well, I think NASCAR fans are pretty well educated in, in NASCAR. They know it's a team sport. They might not know, you know, they know you have a pit crew. You know you have a crew chief and, and mechanics. They might not know, they probably don't know what goes on, behind, you know, during the week at the race shop, all the fabricators and, and engineers and everything, body men, everything that, that, that goes on. Um, but I think they're very well educated. But there are some fans out there that, you know, that just go, man, why, why aren't you winning? You know, it's easy. 
Should, you should have a faster car than that. They don't understand. What do you say to people when they say yeah, that or ask? Yeah, it's uh, tougher than it looks. You know, you're not you're not getting in your car and going to the grocery store. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a competitive, uh, professional sport. Yeah. Well, let me ask you to pick up on something that Joey was saying. You know, it's hard getting there, but it's even harder maintaining, staying in the race, so to speak. I, I agree. What are the dynamics? Just you know, you get to this level, and they, and everybody wants your job. Everybody. You know, so it's it's pretty cutthroat when you get here. Um, like Joey, I had early on success. Whatever I drove, I seemed to, you know, I ran good and won and got here, and uh, it was a reality check. You know, it, it's tough to stay here. You know, you got to keep your sponsors happy. You got to perform, and and um, but there, it, it's more than just you and your race car. Like we said earlier, I mean, you, okay, you got to you do a lot of talking at the shop, a lot of communicating, and and instead of you. You know, back in the day, you just do a lot of working on your race car. <laughs> Nobody's ever satisfied. No. <laughs> They're fantastic. Two o'clock Eastern time. More face to face with Jason Leffler and Joey Logano. How long do they see themselves pushing the pedals and the limits on the track? All right, tonight in uh, Daytona, Florida, the Coke Zero 400 Sprint, Sprint Series NASCAR race. Among the drivers, fans will be watching Joey Logano, number 20, and Jason Leffler, number 38. Logano scored a huge win already this weekend, finishing first at last night's Nationwide Series race at Daytona. And right behind, Jason Leffler, who came in second. Well, recently, face-to-face, -face, I was in the passenger seat, and Leffler was behind the wheel on the Charlotte Motor Speedway. I got bugs in my teeth. I, I was smiling so, so much. I love that. Thank so I got a little taste of 170 miles per hour, and then we slowed it down. Talking face to face with Logano and Leffler at the NASCAR Hall of Fame about how long they'll be in the race. You've got a three-year-old son, Charlie. Um, we talked a little bit on on the racetrack about what would happen if he says, you know, I want to do this. Or do do you expect that your three-year-old is naturally going to want to be a race car driver like dad you know i i don't expect it um if he wants it like i said i, I will give him that opportunity um but i want him to want to do it i guess it's kind of a hard question to answer because i'm not, into you're not there yet. Shoes yet but you know it's like jason said i've raced against kids that were pushed by their parents to race and i remember running quarter midgets and you know i'd win all the time and I beat this kid, and his father would yell and scream at him. And I started to feel bad I beat him. You know, I was like, oh, but I still beat him anyway. You felt bad for a little I bit. Started, I started to feel bad. I was like, you know, the poor kid's crying. I mean, we were six, seven years old. His father's yelling at him because he made a mistake on the track and this and that. I'm like, this is supposed to be fun. You know, I mean, this is not, we have plenty of time to make this serious when we get to this level. You know, the thing is, when you're, when you're young, you just want to have fun with it. Your kid beat a kid. How long do you see yourself driving? Is this something that, uh, you know, you say, I, I'm, I'm going to do this until I'm, you know, in my 50s or 60s, or is this something that has kind of like a stopping point because of the toll it takes on your body. Yeah, I mean, I, I see myself driving for a long time. I, I, I don't know in what series or, or what class. Um, if the opportunities still come and the rides are competitive, I'll keep going. Might be a day when I move back to Indiana and go dirt track racing full time and call it my retirement. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to drive for a long, long time. <laughs> You know, I think I've been doing this for a long time. I think something's really cool is I look at Red Farmer, and he's yeah. you know, been racing forever. I think he's 79, 80. I'm not really sure. He's still racing. He's got a third lane bottle, and he <laughs> runs dirt races. There's only 43 of us every weekend that, that are able to do it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's hard. It's just uh, it's probably tougher now than it's ever been because of the economy and hard to get sponsors. That's when you get a good sponsor like the Home Depot or GameStop. Uh, you, you really want to do everything you can to, to please them and to keep them as happy as you can. So now what is this feeling? Here we are in this NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte. 
And you look around and see these cars, you see the drivers who are honored. What are your hopes of one day being inducted into the Hall of Fame, Jason? Well, I'd like to be, but first, you know, you got to do something special. I mean, this place is, this is the elite here, so you got to make yourself part of that elite group. You know, win a lot of races, win championships, and you never know, you never know in this business, you know. And still, uh, you're always looking for that next big thing. Do you have aspirations of one day being in the Hall of Fame? Doesn't everyone want to be in the Hall of Fame of some sort? There's only 10 drivers in this or, or ten, uh, not just drivers, there's other people in here um, that are in the racing sport um, that are in the Hall of Fame. You know, so that's, I say we race against the best of the best, that's the best of the best of the best, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really, really impressive just to be sitting here and, and, and looking at the cars they used to race. Uh, I just think it's, it's so cool. Well, they are so cool. Today, more face-to-face -face with Lethner and Logano. They tell me face-to-face -face what their early days were like. Logano scored a huge win this weekend, finishing first at last night's nationwide series race at Daytona, uh, right ahead of Leffler, who came in second. The Daytona Coke Zero 400 is tonight. I sat down face to face with both Logano and Leffler to talk about their passion for stock car racing. So take me back where this passion came from. Here you and your family are living in Connecticut, and somewhere this spark of go-kart racing and dreams of something bigger come along. How did that, what was the evolution of that? It's crazy, you know, I mean, my, my family wasn't into racing. You know, they, they, my father played baseball and basketball through high school, and, you know, th those are the things I tried first. But I think the fact that I wasn't good at any of them, <laughs> and I found something <laughs> I was pretty good at, I think that was the fact that, I mean, I enjoy winning. I mean, no matter what it is, if, if it's not racing, it's, you know, playing a board game, whatever it is, you, I want to win. So I think it was something I found that I was good at and I was able to win at, um, and, and I just liked it. You know, I was the kid with the race car bed and all the little matchbox cars and all that stuff. <laughs> that, was, that was this kid here. And, uh, you know, with all the racing gear, all the NASCAR stuff, and uh, I was just, you know, fortunate enough that I was able to follow my dream. And, uh, I mean, I never, ever thought I'd be racing, you know, in, in the Sprint Cup Series against, you know, like, like you said, Jeff Gordon and, and Tony Stewart and all these guys that, that I watched on TV. You know, Mark Martin. I, wa I watched him on TV. I had his, I had his gear, you know. I wore Mark Martin stuff around. <laughs> and here I am racing door-to-door -door with him. I, mean, I remember the first time that happened. I was like, that's crazy. You start right next to the guy. You know, wow. it's just it's that. <laughs> Jason Leffler knows exactly how Logano feels uh, before sitting down uh, with Leffler face to face. He took me for a spin around the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, before, but before he put the pedal to the metal, so to speak, I asked him how he prepares for the major races. So when you're practicing, what are you working on? Are you working on speed? Are you working on the banks? What? You what are, do you try you're, to focus you're working on, on speed. Um, you're working a little bit of, of your technique behind the wheel of the car, because the track conditions change every day, every time you come to a racetrack. Um, but then the main thing you're working on is your race car, trying to set it up, communicating with your crew chief. And, and we're not on the edge with this car. I mean, when you're on the edge and and, um, you know, you're not looking for seconds, you're looking for tenths of a second. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. I love it. I so love it. Man, why didn't I start out earlier? I could be a race car driver. Oh Danica Patrick, God, look out, because I am so hooked. You're going to have some competition one of these days soon. <laughs> I loved that. That was great. So how fast do we go? How fa we're Not that it matters, because, you know, I can feel it on those turns. So we're probably going 100, 170%. Wow. That is fierce. We're going faster than the car wanted to go. It felt good. So, yeah, you liked yeah it. I liked it. Good. I wanted uh -huh. to give you... You know, re give me real idea of what goes on out oh, there. Oh, you so. totally did, and I just tried to imagine all these other cars on the yeah. track and how close you like to be to that wall. Yeah, yeah, we so weren't even that close to it. I took it really? up there one time just to give you a feel for it, but sometimes your inch is off that wall. Mm. You just go wherever your car handles the best. Wow, so that is uh, fantastic. Pretty wild.
I love that. <laughs> well, I'm really admiring your job. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. You Be got a cool gig. Beats working for a living. I, I'd say so. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Put your legs on. Oh, my gosh. I love that. That was so fun. I don't know how many times we went over. That was another thing I noticed. You lose track of where you are. Well, you probably don't. I noticed the threes and the fours for the turns, maybe. Yeah, but um, you can. Yeah. Yeah, not, you know, if you're, if you're not used to it, it's easy to get lost out yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, Who would have ever thought it would get easy to get lost when you're going in a circle? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. That was I'm fun. glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, so what's with the steaming there? Do we... Uh... Uh, I think we ran the car a little too hard. <laughs> we did. That's and all right. AJ's I got said, the full experience, the full effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to give you the full deal. <laughs> and you can catch the rest of my face-to-face -face conversation with Jason Leffler and Joey Logano in the next hour of the CNN Newsroom. It's July 4th weekend, and that means NASCAR drivers are burning up the track. The Daytona Coke Zero 400 is tonight and fighting to cross the finish line first, 20-year-old Joey Logano and 35-year-old Jason Leffler. But guess what? Logano already scored a huge win already this weekend, last night, finishing first at the Nationwide Series race at Daytona, right ahead of Leffler, who came in second. Congrats to them. I sat down face-to-face -face with Logano uh, to talk about his passion for race car driving. So take me back where this passion came from. Here you and your family are living in Connecticut and somewhere this spark of go-kart racing and dreams of something bigger come along. How did that, what was the evolution of that? It's crazy, you know, I mean, my, my family wasn't into racing. You know, they, they, my father played baseball and basketball through high school and, you know, th those are the things I tried first. But I think the fact that I wasn't good at any of them, <laughs> I found something I was pretty good at. I think that was the fact that I, mean, I enjoy winning. I mean, no matter what it is, it's, if it's not racing, it's, you know, playing a board game. Whatever it is, you, I want to win. So I think it's something I found that I was good at and I was able to win at. Um, and I just liked it. You know, I was the kid with the race car bed and all the little matchbox cars and all that stuff. <laughs> that, was, that was this kid here. And, uh, you know, with all the racing gear, all the NASCAR stuff. And uh, I was just you know, fortunate enough that I was able to follow my dream. And, uh, I mean, I never, ever thought I'd be racing, you know, in the, in the Sprint Cup Series against, you know, like, like you said, Jeff Gordon and, and Tony Stewart and all these guys that, that I watched on TV. You know, Mark Martin. I, wa I watched him on TV. I had, his, I had his gear, you know. I wore Mark Martin stuff around. <laughs> and here I am racing door-to-door -door with him. I, mean, I remember the first time that happened. I was like, that's crazy. I'm starting right next to the guy. You know, wow. it's just, it's not... <laughs> Jason Leffler uh, knows exactly what Logano means, but this NASCAR driver doesn't just ride with professionals. Uh, Leffler was nice enough to take me on my first spin around the Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's an experience that um, I'm still talking about. <laughs> Probably too much. <laughs> How fast are we going? Uh, as fast as that thing will go. I don't know, uh, 160, 170, <gasps> whatever. We'll get in there. And okay, you know I'm a complete novice. Yeah, I have not I gone past that. 90 before. Oh, you're, so you're in for a treat. Is my stomach going to be able to handle it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we're at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. I can't get any better than this. Or would this be perhaps your favorite track? It is one of my favorite tracks. Okay, I'm ready to roll. Let's you? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, oh, let's yeah. go. Awesome. All right, what's it like to go speeding around this Charlotte Motor Speedway? I'm about to find out with Jason Leffler right there. You see, I'm not going to actually be driving, but the passenger... Come right on here, just like the Dukes of Hazard. It's just like your standard car. You got your uh, H pattern, you know, manual transmission. You got your gas, brake, clutch. The only thing different is uh, obviously steering wheel comes on and off. Yeah, and you know what I noticed with the steering? You're you generally very close, whereas yeah. generally when you're driving a yeah, regular yeah. car, you get to extend your arms. Yeah. Is that comfortable? Uh, yes, it is. Because of the duration of the race, you know, your, your arms will get tired if they're way out here. So. Oh, okay. This one's not quite set up for me. Usually, like my own race car, I'd have it pretty close. So, so this, it's really about endurance. Yeah. Being able to yeah, oh, yeah. have it's, the it's, wheel so uh, tight. Yeah. It's physically demanding in racing. People don't realize that. The heat, the, you know, it's a, it, there's a lot, you know, wrestling these heavy cars around for 300 to 500 miles is, is not easy. So does this ever get to be kind of old hat or are you like, do you get that rush every time? Yeah, you get the rush every time. I mean, it's what you live for. And, um, you know, it's the only thing I've ever done is drive race cars. And um, it, it's exciting, you know, it, it, 
doesn't get any better than that. You know, people ask, what's it like to be a race car driver? I said, beats working for a living, that's for sure. Whose idea was this? <laughs> I'm actually really excited, and I know I'm in great hands with Jason here. So if I'm going to have a first-time race car experience, this is the way to go. We're in a Richard Petty NASCAR experience vehicle, so uh, here we go. Let her rip. Ready to roll? Ready. All right. Okay, I'm hooked. I want to be a race car driver. That was just a warm up. That's awesome. That was just a warm up. That is so awesome. Wow. <laughs> I thought maybe I was going to close my eyes, but then I didn't want to miss anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. wonderful. And I was thinking to myself, okay, well, here we are, and the only ones on the track, but the proximity to all the other cars. That's the real danger, that's the real risk involved. Oh, yeah. And well, the excitement, too, right? Yeah, that's, and that's where the skill is. Um, you know, you got a lot of variables when you have other cars on the racetrack. Obviously, they're probably in the lane you want to be in. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting dirty air, which we call it dirty air. You're getting their weight, mm. for, you know, off their car, which is making your car handle different. And it's just all how you uh, work traffic and set your car up for traffic and... Oh it's not goodness. as easy as just pulling up behind somebody and driving by them when you're fast. It really is. It seems like one of the hardest parts is really not to touch another vehicle. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, especially when you get 42 other cars out there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just 42 other competitive race car drivers, so everybody's fighting for the same piece of uh, real mm -hmm. estate out there. Right. Yeah, that's where you see the wrecks happen. Yeah, or better yet, you don't want to be trading paint. No, you really don't. Um, <laughs> You know, you got to do what you have to do when it comes down to the end of the race, but you definitely don't want to be, um, the ideal thing is not to be running into yeah, each other. Yeah. Have you counted the wrecks that you've had? I couldn't count the wrecks. No, I, so I they've been that numerous? That many times. I couldn't tell you how many times I've been upside down. <gasps> not in a stock car, but the other forms of racing, that, the dirt track racing I did before. Mm -hmm. I really couldn't tell you how many times I've flipped. Okay, I'm still reliving that almost every day. We're face-to-face -face, uh, with Jason Leffler and Joey Logano. Tomorrow, they'll be revealing uh, their keys to greatness. How do they get there?